Hey everyone, so um, I have a few prototypes with me. Um, these are some new prototypes I made um, like in the past week. Oh, uh, this is like green plastic. It's like a ugly green. I'll be right back. All right, I'm toasting bread for a sandwich. So um, the cool thing about the prototypes is I did something really cool and creative, guys. If you can remember in an earlier week, like I, well not in an earlier week, like last year, I had uh, magnetic rings that you could quickly swap out in a vault power. Um, that project didn't go through for a few reasons, um, but that's okay because the power kind of sucked, um, but I came up with something similarly cool uh, recently for Luminox prototypes. And instead of doing a ring, I do a magnetic cap, but not just any cap. So what if we made the cap the center and the center the cap? So if you do it this way, you don't have to worry about the width of the plastic because you can you can make that width any width you want at that point and I'll show you a picture in a little bit once I finish making the sandwich um, is that enough? Put a little bit more meat um, and the cool thing about that is you can really modulate the distance between the magnets and that's really cool for purposes I'll show you in a little bit let me wash my hands um, so one of my prototypes turned out decent um, I took the center of a GANS, not an actual GANS, I modeled it after the GANS. I have the uh, tracks of a Volk, so edge and corner tracks have circular tracks. Um, this one. And I had the square skirt region of an MF3RS. Totally unique radius, totally unique corners. Um, I'm doing a new batch of corners that are special. Um, um, what else? Uh, basically I took the best features of the cubes I know and put them into one cube. But the really cool thing is, like I said, that unique interchangeable centers thing. So, look at that. You can see the magnets, and they are under the plastic. So there's a little pocket for them. And they're glued in, so they, they don't come out. But you can switch out so I'm thinking about like making multiple caps. So if you want to switch the magnet strength, you just swap this cap. So there's the center, a little dirty. There, there you go, you can see that. You just swap this out. And when you swap this out, I'll put that close to the camera again. You just swap these out and you change the whole magnet strength. And I remember Gans, they made a video of uh, them showing how fast their system was. Well, you'd have to do 12 swaps and 12 edges in order to change the magnet strength of the GANS cube. But with this system, you just gotta change out the caps because there's 24 magnets, six times four. You just swap out the cap and then, do you hear that click? It clicks into place. I had to get really creative. And with this, you can swap out the caps and change the whole strength of the cube. Um, so this is the most recent cube I have. Um, I'm still waiting for quality plastic, so this is still that really cheap draft plastic. I was just thinking to myself, if I can make a good cube with bad plastic, then I can make a really good cube with good plastic. Um, it turns okay. I just woke up. My hands are not warm. And you can see like the tiles. Uh, what do you think of this green? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I like this green because the old green is this bright green. And this is more of like a forest green. Um, I'm still figuring out tile colors, um, but we can. I can manufacture these things really fast. I can do the tiles stupidly fast. Um, I go back to work in New York in a few weeks. My graduation ceremony is tomorrow, and the weird thing is final grades don't get posted until like Friday, so I don't even know if I graduated college. Anyways. Uh, that's all the interesting stuff for now. Um, I'll probably show you some corner cutting. Mm. Like this. So, not that one. This one. It does the four cuts. Up, down, other way, up, down, and it turns. It's a little loud. 
one of the things I'm doing about the future is I want to have sound dampening structures on the inside. Something that'll like flex and absorb the sound waves as well as having the structures. So like um, this one, the sound is different and I'm starting to pinpoint what parts of the cube make sound. So I want to make like a silent option and then have way more options. There are also way more experimental features I've ever tried. Um, but there's going to be cooler stuff in the next iteration. Probably finish up tomorrow. And um, just send these off to the boss. It'll be really cool. But that's it for status updates. I'm going to keep cranking out these. I'm on schedule to have it ready for internal testing by about mid-June, maybe late June. So depending on how fast I get moved in, that's how fast we this project can move on. And then if internal testing goes well, then probably August or late August, early September, I can launch this project. So everyone can get custom cubes, custom color, custom tiles, custom mechanism, features, everything. So um, that's it. Thanks for listening to this short, silly video. Magnetic quick swap caps. Um, I hope people like the idea of the quick swap caps. So yep, uh, see y'all in the next video.